At the 2023 Wake Forest Invitational, we saw a clash of two enormously talented distance runners on the running scene right now. In the women's 1500 meters, we saw Caitlin Tuohy from North Carolina State clash with Constance Klosterhofen of the Union Athletics Club. Now, this race on paper had the potential to be extremely fast, as Tui is currently on a super hot streak of NCAA record performances, including the indoor mile, the indoor 3000 meters, and also the indoor 1500 meters en route to this indoor mile record. And also, Klosterhofen brings some extremely fast times to the table, with a personal record in the 1500 of 3 minutes and 58 seconds. And immediately after the start of this race, it became apparent that time was exactly what Caitlin Tui was after. After a rocket-hot opening 300 meters, it was apparent that Caitlin Tui was essentially going for the NCAA record here. Through the opening 300 meters, Rachel Walters, who was acting as a pacer, hit a time of 47.45 seconds. And then through the opening 400 meters, Walters and Tui hit a time of right at 63 seconds. At this point in the race, they were already starting to separate themselves from both Constance Klosterhofen and Angel Picarillo. And then for the next 400 meter split up to the half mile, Tui was again absolutely rolling, hitting a time of just under two minutes and eight seconds. This pace was extremely quick, and at this point, all she needed was a final 800 of around two minutes and 10 seconds to get the national record. However, the pace would start to slow ever so slightly, and Constance Klosterhofen was ready to make her move. With about one lap to run, Tui relinquished her lead, and then she stuck right behind Klosterhofen for the final lap. Now at this point in the race, in order to break the NCAA record, she would need to run a final 400 of about 58 seconds, which technically is possible, however given her very, very fast opening 400 meters, seemed quite unlikely at this point. With just 200 meters to run, it was still Klosterhofen pushing the pace up front, and then with a very strong closing half lap, she took the victory in 4 minutes, 6.39 seconds, Angel Picarillo was second in 407.4, and Caitlin Tui finished in third place in 4 minutes, 8.29 seconds, just slightly behind her personal record of 4 minutes and 6 seconds. I gotta say I am very impressed at this performance, because Tui clearly put all of her fitness on the line and went for the NCAA record. Now, despite not having her best effort here and clearly struggling over the final 800 meters, this time a 408.29 would still be ranked 13th all-time in the NCAA. And to this day, Jenny Berenger still holds the record at just under 4 minutes. And even though they did fall quite short of this 3 minute and 59 second goal, Caitlin Tui's performance still deserves all the praise in the world, because this time of 4 minutes and 8 seconds is a reflection of what she can still do when she does not have a very strong second half. Regardless of the fact that she did not win this race, this is still a fantastic 2023-1500 season opener, and given that she was running against the pros here, it's actually quite telling at her fitness level right now. I fully expect this to be a tremendous outdoor season for Caitlin Tui, and it is very possible that more NCAA records are just around the corner. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.